yesterday we announced here at NAB two new products, the uh, HP Dreamcolor Z27X and the HP Dreamcolor Z24X. These uh, replace our, our previous Dreamcolor display, the LP2480ZX, uh, which had been shipping for about six years and had really become the gold standard in uh, the, the majority of the world's leading animation studios and visual effects studios. In fact, that display was used um, on three, the three most recent films that won Oscars for best visual effects. So we're very proud of that heritage. And yesterday, uh, we announced two new products at really great price points. The 27X is coming in at $14.99 US, and the, and the, uh, seven, the Z24X is uh, $5.99 on the uh, HP.com. Um, these new products um, have uh, higher performance than the previous generation. Um, as well as the 27 inches, 60% more pixels, larger diagonal, higher resolution, and also has uh, 4K input support. So uh, we're really excited about, about those things. So the inputs include DisplayPort and HDMI on both displays. The Z24X also has DVI. Um, they are both 10-bit output, which means uh, over a billion colors on screen. Um, the Dream Color engine, which does the color management function for us, we've increased the internal accuracy to 14 bits for this generation, so that gives us an internal color palette of 4.4 trillion colors. It turns out you need more than 10 bits inside doing the math to get an accurate 10 bits outside, and, and 14 bits does that for us, and so we deliver really accurate 10-bit color. Um, we're seeing calibration results on the Z27X that are producing delta E's around 0.5, which is well below the just noticeable difference for even a, even a really good color critical eye. So, um let me ask a question about calibration and how how is that managed? Um, is there internal? Is there internal and external? Are um, other devices that are out there are they going to be antiquated and or the way, will they be able to keep up with what the uh, Dream Colors can produce? Okay, great. Let me address that. So, both products support the HP Dream Color calibration solution. This is two hundred and forty nine dollars. It includes a colorimeter as well as software that runs on Windows. The software is only required for the twenty four inch running on the host. PC. So again, both, both monitors use this solution, but with the Z27X, you get other options as well. In the Z27X, the calibration engine is integrated into the monitor, so you actually plug the colorimeter directly into a dream color port in the back of the display. No host software required. That means we support Windows, Linux, uh, Macintosh, or the no host case like on set or post production. Um, making calibration very easy, but in addition to the Dream Color Calibration solution, we also support third-party pro-class color instruments like this example here from Klein Instruments. It's the K10A. Uh, we support that natively as, as well, so you would plug this USB port directly into the monitor, as well as devices from Photo Research and Konica Minolta. So that gives our high-end studio customers the choices that they want in professional class color instruments very easy to use, plug and play out of the box. Um, and speaking more a little bit about the question of calibration, um, what would you advise with these devices in terms of the ambient, um, uh, ambient room color and things like that and how that might affect them as opposed to older, older monitors that were within this class or for this use? Okay. So our customers vary uh, in terms of the luminance they run at. Some as low as 48 candelas per meter squared. Uh, others as high as 80, 100, 120, and they typically work in darkened room environments, very dark to, to eliminate ambient light. Um, these displays both calibrate down to 48 candelas per meter squared and two, 250 max on the 27 and 350 on the 24, um, but generally the darkened room is the best situation. And with the 27 inch, we also offer a hood as an option to help eliminate ambient light. Would you like to show me some things on screen? and? Yeah. Um, We'll pick up what we can of it. We're, we're demonstrating uh, Adobe Premiere here and showing uh, just a clip from uh, our, our marketing introduction. But I'll, I'll, I'll uh, show you the uh, HP Night Vision user interface where you touch a button and the backlights come up and then the on-screen menu labels come up. And in this case, we've selected red as the backlight color. Um, it's optional red or white on the 27 inch and that helps also not ruin your vision when you're working in the dark. <clears throat> but when you pop that up, you can choose color space and see that we have seven presets on the 27 inch, including sRGB, Adobe, BT709, BT2020, DCI, and so on. Um, and familiar favorites. 
Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even BT2020, which is the emerging standard for ultra high def, so we've got that as well. Um, I'll also pop up display info and show that uh, this says 4095, but it's actually 4096 by 2160. There's a, there's a bug um, that we're working on, but it's running at 24 hertz. So this, as I mentioned, has 4K input support, 4096, 43840 by 2160. And it can either um, show you full frame scaled or one to one with pan and zoom. Um, and I can, uh, and then the 24 inches, 1920 by 1200. Mm -hmm. um, I can bring up Lightroom with an image there and show you how easy it is to change the uh, color space. And just to give you a feel for the native gamut, I'll switch to native, and you can watch the reds become much more saturated. Right. Um, we can bring up other images as well, um, just to give you a feel for the performance. Great. Um, and in very often in a, a broadcast or a post-production environment, you're going to see multiple monitors up and running. Um, um, your suggestions, uh, is it OK to do uh, mix and match? And also from now inside the, inside the box, um, whether or not you're using a workstation, are there any particular cards? And I don't know if you want to <laughs> make a sort of product endorsement about it, but at least the type of processing uh, that really, um, that the lowest common denominator possible to get good results, and then the favored uh, status. We in implicitly or ex explicitly support uh, Windows, Linux, and Macintosh computers on both of these products. Um, the calibration is on Windows for the Z24X, um, but uh, in terms of, of terms of the Z27-inch, there's no OS dependency for calibration. Um, we certainly recommend HPZ workstations as the as the workstation of choice. HP is number one in the workstation market; has been for a number of years. Um, the line uh, scales nicely in price from Z230 all the way up to the flagship Z820, which is what we're driving this demo with today. Um, and you know we have a full complement of NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. Um, K4000, K5000 tend to be what we recommend for most uh, graphics intensive tasks. And then you mentioned kind of screen to screen. Um, one nice thing, there are other color critical displays on the market with integrated calibration, but they typically include a calibration sensor that pops up from the bezel. And the bad thing about that is you get a different sensor here than you do on the machine next to it. And if you want consistency, it's better to use one known good device across all the displays. And in some cases, customers will want to use a high expensive device to get really accurate calibration. So we give the customer the choice of calibration devices and let them share it across multiple displays. Uh, what about the... Um what about the producer who's working with a, a laptop type, uh, a laptop device, whether it's a workstation device or not? Um, any suggestions about that? Or so HP has the HP ZBook mobile workstation line. There there are three models: Z, Z, uh, ZBook 14, ZBook 15, and ZBook 17. The 15 and 17 have a dream color panel option, so you can get uh, very yeah very similar color critical performance on those two models. Um, right out of the box, so that would that would be our recommendation for workstation class notebooks. Any other th suggestions that you uh, might want to offer about um, about these monitors, or um, I would just say check it out on hp.com/dreamcolor. These products are up on the web today, and they're available to order today. Thanks. Great. Are they available uh, strictly through HP, or what are the outlets for them? They'll, they'll be through HP and uh, the whole our whole channel retail uh, indirect as well. And they're, they're ready to go, ready to be delivered. Ready to go now. Yep. Great. Thanks. Thanks for your time.